and fashion work together to break down new barriers each season. This year, we have 10 very talented student designers who have been inspired by this constant dialogue for tonight's runway show. Welcome everyone to Canvas to Couture, the fourth annual Gallatin Fashion Show. I've been designing clothes since I was pretty young. So this year, I wanted to collaborate with a couple other really talented NYU students on a fashion video inspired by my collection. Tonight, we have a very special guest, artist Gabriel Spector. I always saw fashion as an individual way to express yourself. I always wanted to use the aesthetic of fashion, the way that it's meant to draw you in, or the way that clothes speak to you in the painting, because it makes it that much more of a draw. Rachel. My collection is inspired by Sagrada Familia Chapel in Barcelona by Antonio Gaudi. Very famous for avant-garde style and very alien and strange organic shapes. My idea behind all of this was Art Deco. The intricate uh, but symmetrical motifs that happened from World War One to World War II. But then I also looked at the artist Erte. His use of color, he's very theatrical and very fun and playful. So I wanted to meld them together into one line. I did an art installation. I decided to take some elements of the body that in fashion we choose to de-emphasize and make those a focus of my art installation. As an artist, I'm enamored with surface design and textural synthesis. There's a natural overlap between high couture fashion and textile art. Recently, I've been focused on weaving and textile pattern design to steer my work in the direction of textile art. My collection is a mini collection of cocktail hats. I chose Kusama as an inspiration because I admire her attention to detail and composition. I love her use of colors, especially the stark white dots on the vibrant red background. Last year, I participated in the Galveston Fashion Show as a model, but I never knew I could design clothes. <laughs> Designers can be anyone from students to faculty members to alumni. Our fashion video showcased seven originally designed sculptural accessories based on impressionist paintings, the colors and textures and their depiction of natural light. The video is accompanied by a song that Chloe wrote and performed. The lyrics guided the imagery that you find in the video. With you, each morning's like a honeycomb and I will never feel alone. My name is Matthew Gregory, I'm a faculty member, and I'm a costume designer. Costume design and fashion have a lot in common. We both create wearable art. Commedia dell'arte is a masked and largely improvised form of theater that started during the Italian Renaissance. Bricolage is inspired by the large artistic movement of Afrofuturism. I created textiles with logwood and Brazil wood and natural dyes to try to resemble this post-apocalyptic world. My goal is to explore fashion as a vehicle to imagine new futures. Some people think that because fashion is wearable, it's functional, therefore it's not art. I decided that I wanted to maybe prove them wrong, so I took items that are very functional, like bras, and made them not so functional, but at the same time, very fashionable. I also have an installation exploring art on fabric and patterning. This is my first ever collection. I've never been a fashion designer. I consider myself more of a hobbyist costumer and a cosplayer. The term cosplay is a combination of the words costume and play. I chose five really influential female characters and reimagined them in a fashionable, beautiful way. This is my raven cloak. I really like the fabric. A lot of the inspiration came more from the fabric or combining elements of, you know, combat boots and a really short mini dress made out of femi something feminine like chiffon. Cultures around the world have used distinct patterns, bold colors to tell stories through their fashion. I believe if we were to combine men and women and bring their art, bring their fashion, bring their styles together, we could create something inspirational. All the looks in this collection were inspired by art from four different regions. South Asia, East Asia, 
Africa, and the Middle East. Seeing my pieces as part of a fashion show and seeing them displayed and partially suspended, it's just, it looks amazing. Like, I wanted to soak up this whole moment. My inspiration for this was the Baroque through Enlightenment period, the Baroque period, ornate theatricality, and then it turns to the Rococo period, fun and frivolous and slightly naughty, and then that turns to the Enlightenment, back to nature, understanding the self. Still have that satin dress, the one your hand caressed, as through the bar you carried me. Having had my store for seven years now, I've participated in lots of different fashion shows. I've done things on the sidewalk, in bars, in auditoriums. This is actually probably the most professional I've ever been a part of. This show is so well produced. The models are so professional, the makeup is professional, the photographers, everything about it comes together perfectly and I love being a part of it. It was a great experience. I've always loved fashion and I didn't think it was possible for me to do fashion design here but they gave me the chance and I ran with it.